Many critics believed the couple are now focusing on their U.S. fanbase. Having pushed away some British supporters through their royal exit and ongoing criticisms, and a source even told Us Weekly they were not expecting the extensive backlash from the UK after their tell all interview. However, BuzzFeed News, a famous US media outlet, has drawn up an in depth investigation into Harry's latest claims and discrepancies throughout his latest interviews, which could suggest they may lose support in America, too. In an article entitled, Prince Harry is Contradicting Himself, published this week, Reporter Ellie Hall noted that there are inconsistencies and omissions in the story he is now telling the world, compared to the information he previously shared with the public. She said, During some of these conversations, Harry takes on the role of revisionist historian, contradicting past statements he's made about his mental health issues and the support, or lack thereof, he received from the royal family. The journalist notes how Harry has repeatedly suggested he was suffering alone until he met his wife Meghan, and she encouraged him to seek professional help. But the Duke of Sussex actually claimed in 2017 that his brother Prince William had urged him to pursue therapy, and praised his brother for it. When approached by BuzzFeed News, a Sussex spokesperson reportedly drew a distinction between Harry's private struggles and his public advocacy work. They allegedly pointed out that, although he had sought mental health treatment before meeting Meghan, she was the catalyst for finding a therapist who could finally provide him with the care and support he needed. But, BuzzFeed also noted that Harry, William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, worked together on a mental health initiative which began in 2016. The Duke of Sussex's series with Oprah on mental health also began production in 2019 when he was still a working royal, and while promoting the series, his Instagram account noted Harry's long-standing work, on the cause had seen him, candidly share personal experience. Harry admitted that he had also spoken to a shrink, more than a couple of times, during a podcast back in 2017. William and Kate showed their support for tackling the stigma around mental health as well, as the Duke of Cambridge criticised the stiff upper lip, mentality which is often associated with Britain, and revealed how he sought mental health assistance after a traumatic incident during his stint as an air ambulance pilot. During that same year, Harry praised William for telling him he needed to talk to someone about his feelings. He explained, My brother, bless him, he was a huge support to me. He also claimed that William started to encourage him to deal with this, three years before, in 2014. But, the Duke then told the armchair expert that he only started therapy after a conversation that I had with my now wife, which was a crucial turning point. However, a Sussex spokesperson allegedly told BuzzFeed that Harry's advocacy for mental health overlapped with his own recovery journey, but said it was only meeting Meghan in July 2016 and a good therapist that gave him the confidence to discuss his own struggles in greater detail. Royal author Angela Levin also claimed in May that Harry told her, shortly before he got engaged, that Meghan was absolutely not the force behind his decision to get help, and claimed she had nothing to do with it. But, a Sussex representative reportedly claimed that while William did encourage Harry to seek assistance between the ages of 28 and 32, despite seeing mental health professionals during these years, Harry was unable to find the care he needed. They allegedly told BuzzFeed that the catalyst was an argument with Meghan which occurred when they were dating, which Harry said during his recent interviews. Ms. Hall noted, The omission of William's influence in his recent public remarks is a sharp contrast to how he's spoken about the topic in the past. The article then touched on Harry's claim to Oprah that, every single ask, request, warning, whatever it is, about his and Meghan's declining mental health was met with total silence and total neglect from the royal family. However, during the CBS special the Duke said he was ashamed of admitting just how terrible Meghan felt, and then in The Me You Can't See, he said his shame kept him from telling his family, begging the question as to how the royals could ignore his requests if they were not aware of the challenges the couple were facing. Yet, a Sussex spokesperson reportedly told BuzzFeed that it was 
due to his family's lack of support and action, during other rejected requests, protection from the media and Megan's plea for inpatient treatment, that he did not believe his family would be able to willing to help, and that's why he did not lean on them.